Art Ninja Dinosaur Mask. So, I've got myself a large cereal box, but I'm going to need two of these, so I'll just ninja another one. <sighs> ninja skills. And I painted over the graphics with some red paint, leaving the inside lovely and white. I'm going to cut off this strip here on both boxes, but I'm going to keep them because I'll need them later. And now, I'm going to do a really cool paint technique by mixing together washed up liquid and some paint to make bubbly paint. Mix those together with a straw. I'm going to blow into it to create the bubbles. Don't suck, it will taste nasty. Now, I'm going to slowly press my card down on top of the bubbles to pick up the paint. Look at that. I need to keep doing this technique until my card is completely covered. Looking great. Just like dinosaur skin. I need to do the same thing on the other one. There we are. Look at that. So I'm leave this piece down here to dry. And I'm going to use this piece to start making the main part of the dinosaur's head. And I'm going to draw a line from this corner to that corner on one of these panels. And then the same this side from that corner to this corner. A straight line along there. And the same the other side. Like that. Right. Now I'm going to cut along those lines. I need to keep these bits, as I'll need those later. I'm just going to score a line down the centre of this piece all the way to the point. I'm using the blunt side of the scissors here. One to there. And then the same the other side. Let's turn those scores into folds to make the main shape of the dinosaur's head. And these two here pinch and come together that to make the front of the dino's nose. And now I'm going to add a little bit of double-sided sticky tape in there to hold it together and then just snip off the excess. Now I'm going to cross over these two flaps at the back and with a little bit of double-sided sticky tape, hold them together. Just put that to one side. The two bits that I left to the side earlier, I'm going to stick them together with a bit of sticky tape. Now I'm going to grab a bowl, put it in the middle and draw around it. There we go. I'm going to draw some lines from the circle to the edge of the box, which will make the curved shape of the dinosaur's jaw. Don't need this anymore. Pinch these pieces to make the fold for the underside of the jaw. Add a little bit of double-sided sticky tape in there to hold it together. Now I'm going to stick this to the inside of the head. The other one there. Makes the shape of the jaw. Here we go. But it's not a dinosaur's head without teeth. So I'm going to take one of the sides of the box that I saved earlier and turn it into some rows of razor-sharp gnashes. Ninja skills. You need to make sure that the white is stuck facing the outside, so it's got lovely, healthy white teeth. A little bit of dino dentistry. This square is going to be the back of the dinosaur's head. I just need to stick it on. I'm going to add some nostrils, and for that, a couple of triangles cut out from the stuff I printed earlier. A bit of scoring and a bit of car bending will sort these out. Now I've done the same thing, but larger to make the eyelids. What do you call a dinosaur with no eyes? Do you think he saw us? Yeah, I better add the eyes. These are two squares of card stuck on with double-sided tape. Now time to try it on. But you don't have to make a T-Rex, you could make... ..a sparkly triceratops with glittery horns and spotty skin. Pretty bling, or maybe... ..teeth-crunching megalodon with stenciled scales.